Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you that how to install Ubuntu Linux as dual boot with Windows. Before getting into the video, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon, so that you won't miss any future videos. Please watch this video till end. Virtual Machine vs Dual Boot Many people will choose Virtual Machine when they need to install more than one operating system. It is very helpful and easy to use with Virtual Machine. As the hardware is shared between the operating system and virtual machine, we get poor performance, unless we have high-end PC-like servers. I've my HP laptop with Windows 10, Ubuntu and Kali Linux as triple boot. Whenever I need Ubuntu or Kali, I just shut down my laptop and switch to Ubuntu or Kali. This doesn't require additional software like VirtualBox. And the full amount of RAM, processor, disk, and network are used by only one operating system at a time. Thus I can experience better performance in switching OS at boot time than installing virtual machine. If you want a lab setup for practice hacking, then virtual box might be the better choice. But when you have to deal with only one operating system at a time, then go for dual boot. Let's see how to dual boot Windows PC with Ubuntu. Requirements. Formatted pen drive, or SD card. Internet connection to download Ubuntu Linux. Free disk space, at least 20 GB recommended. Go to official Ubuntu website to download the latest version. Since I've already downloaded, I just cancel the download. After downloading Ubuntu ISO file, download the Power ISO software. I've given the download links in description below. Now install the Power ISO in your system. After installing Power ISO, open it as administrator. It require administrator privileges to create bootable USB drive. Simply close the pop-ups and click on tools, and then create bootable USB. Select the image file of Ubuntu that you have downloaded. Insert a blank USB device. Note. Any data in your pen drive will be erased during this process. You can see your removable device name in destination column, once you plugged in USB properly. Leave the other options as default and click start. It will take some time to complete. After it have been complete, you have to create a new partition to install. Go to Computer Management. Select Disk Management. You can see here I have two disks, as I've installed SSD and HDD for my storage. You may have only one. You can go to File Explorer to see which drive you have more unused space. As I've more free space in Drive F, I'm going to separate around 20 GB for my Linux partition. To do this right click on the volume F, and click shrink volume. We have to enter the size in megabytes to shrink. I simply write 21,000 megabytes, it would be approximately 20 gigabytes, now click shrink. You can see that 20.5 gigabytes has been removed from volume F, and it is now unallocated space. We are going to install our Ubuntu Linux in this space. Now power off your PC and insert the bootable USB in PC and turn it on. As my device is HP. I have to press F9 while booting to load boot device options. Search in the internet to get into boot device options if you are using other than HP. 
You can see the list of operating system you have installed, and storage device attached to your PC. Since, I've already using 3 operating system, I've listed 3 OS here. And here you can see USB hard drive UEFI. It is our bootable Ubuntu Linux. Open it. Click install Ubuntu. I'm sorry for the shaky video, as I recorded with one hand and working with another hand. Now select your language and click continue. You have to select the keyboard layout, in my case it is English, US, select and click continue. Select normal installation and click continue. In the installation type, select something else, to create our own partition manually, and click continue. In the partition table, select the free space that you have just unallocated from your Windows operating system. Click plus icon to create Linux partition, leave all as defaults and select mount point as forward slash. You can leave the device for bootloader installation as default. Click install now and continue. Select your region to get time automatically. Enter your new username and password and click continue. Now the installation process begins, this may take some time, please be patient. After installation complete, remove your USB bootable drive from your PC and reboot. While booting, press F9 to go to boot device options, there you can see Ubuntu, click to boot. My old Ubuntu in master boot record is now replaced by new one. But I can still log into my old Ubuntu through the grub boot loader of new Ubuntu, which I installed now. That's all. You can log in with the username and password that you have created during installation process. If you want to uninstall Ubuntu, just log in to Windows and delete the partition through disk management. If you like this video, please like it. If you have any doubts, comment it below. Share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.